to UC Bearcats in need of something to boost their spirits. You know, that crosstown beatdown by Xavier on Saturday. Two losses in a row. Handing unbeaten Pitt its first loss of the season. That might fit the bill in front of a national audience in the Jimmy V Classic. This was not an offensive masterpiece. Justin Jackson kept the Bearcats alive, one of seven rebounds to put back. He had 12, tied at 20 at the break. Second half, still cold. Troy Copain, though, beat the shot clock. Three of his four, cats by one. Sean Kilpatrick, one of eight from behind the arc. Four buckets, nine points. Pitt went 13-43 without a hoop before Cameron Wright drove the lane. Panthers by one. Final seconds, Kilpatrick to the rim. Jackson keeps it alive. Titus Rubles, the go-ahead hoop with four seconds left. Cameron Wright, one chance left, and the heave won't get there. Pitt unbeaten no longer. You see a 44-43 winner. You know, I know it's a process. We got a lot of new guys playing in a lot of new positions. But, you know, the kids, they get down. And my job is to try to keep, their, keep, their, keep them positive, keep them fighting. The world's not over. It's a long year. And we're not hanging a banner says we won pit, so everybody's getting better right now. We just got to stay focused. Well, the Bengals had to make their playoff run last year without Mike Nugent. Josh Brown was called upon to fill the place kicking boy. Now without Kevin Huber, the Bengals call on putter Sean Powell to kick the pig. Next man in. Marvin's not happy about how his team played Sunday night, but the mission and the ability to reach the goal hasn't changed. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go play and win the football games. We gotta do exactly the same thing I sat here and told you last Wednesday we needed to do, and that's win the games. And uh, we we didn't win one, so we gotta win the next two. And uh, we take care of that, and we'll take care of ourselves. We're bringing our A game, and then some Bengals Nation to Wednesday. This one's worth two. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, Brandon Tate, gonna be our guest tonight to raise money for cancer-free kids. We're giving away the Eichler golf cart. See you at the Holy Grail Wednesday, six to eight. More awards for junior Buckeye linebacker Ryan Shazier, named Associated Press All-American today. Running back Carlos Hyde and lineman Jake Muhort, named to the third team. Wade Megan scored the first 5-10 in the first period. It held up until three minutes left in the game. Joe Howe stopped the first 27 shots, goes to overtime, tied at one. Eric Catalyst with a game winner for Kalamazoo in overtime, 2-1. The Clones fall to 14-9. and nine.